ready to go for a brand new season. Syracuse and Stony Brook were underway. Hyman quickly the other way. Her free throw line try, no, but the follow doesn't fall either. But on the offensive glass, strong. First taste of regular season action here today. Hyman orchestrating the offense for the Cubes. One of just four Syracuse returners draws the double. Hyman, the most tenured player on this Syracuse team. Led SU with just over 16 points a game a year ago. That mark good for fifth in the ACC. Short corner, Jay, good. Figures to step up big time in the offense. Angela is someone, too, very hesitant to take average to below average shots. But Coach Langford says she's going to need to take those because we're going to need her to put the ball in the basket. Strong takedown. Both teams working very quickly here through these first few minutes. Seawolves come up with the turnover. Here comes Warren out in transition. Almond up top for Vargas. Her triple, yes. Rice the other way, head up. Fair from the corner. Can't find home. Hyman comes in to late. Gonzalez trying to make something happen offensively. Three ball from Vargas, not there. And now the orange out in transition, two on one. Hyman and Fair, Tisha keeps it herself. First time under 500 since the 06 07 slate. On this Syracuse team, Fair's one of them and wanted to go coast to coast, but just couldn't tap it home. Surprised to see Woolley out on the floor. Coach Jack said last week she wouldn't be available, dealing with some injuries, didn't play against LeMoyne. Also, Woolley, one of those four Buffalo transfers, started 24 of 34 games she played in last year under Felicia Leggett Jack. Early action for her here out on that island. Hyman wants it herself and hits it. These fans came to know and love a year ago from their leading scorer, Hyman. Stony Brook, the quick re Hyman tries one more time. Tisha really the focal point of this Syracuse team a year ago and had some memorable games at that. End of the half-court offense where you have two dynamic scorers in Hyman and Fair who can take over even in a half-court setup. Hyman and Woolley applying some press, something we haven't seen yet from a Syracuse defensive standpoint. Corley on that far corner, nice move. Here come the Seawolves the other way. Gonzalez head up, Hyman pickpockets her. Tisha going full speed, free throw line try, yes. Looks like Tisha is taking control of this ball game. Defense to offense, no hesitation in the mid range. And when she's doing that, you got to watch out. Almond's baseline. Dad Donovan went on to have a very successful pro football career. One of just six SU football jerseys hung up in the rafters here inside the dome. How about that for some Syracuse lineage? And also, Lexi was an original commit to Buffalo, but she switched to Syracuse. Second chance points. Well, that was sort of the narrative surrounding Syracuse's exhibition game as Warren's three was off the mark, grew much better from Marla King. Syracuse, last time out against LeMoyne in the exhibition, 44% from downtown, won the rebounding battle by 27. Instead, some hounding SU defense on that far side, and Rice intercepts the pass. Elena going the whole way, off the glass and in. Felicia Leggett, Jack, and a five-point lead, closing stages of the first half. Stony Brook begins this stretch with the basketball. At the free throw line, Allman knocks it down. Brook 26 to 15 plus 11 on the boards. But the Seawolves hanging around in large part due to shooting nearly 40% from the floor. Fair up top. All American a year ago with Buffalo. Kicks out Woolley. Corner three. You bet. The Buffalo connection in full swing in Central New York now. Hey, welcome to Syracuse, Georgia. Willie, the Mac freshman of the year, drills her first triple. Environment did so in Buffalo. Now another new environment for her here. She wants to try again. Second time doesn't ring home, though. Syracuse collects the loose ball, courtesy of Fair. 
And she'll slow it up. Step back, three, yes! Felicia Leggett, Jack, former Buffalo head coach, brings four players with her from Western New York to Central New York. A long heave up ahead for Fair, who's one of those because of tough to stop the Asia Fair in transition. Now here comes Stony Brook the other way, but a swarm of Orange defenders say no. Long heave for Fair. She does it again, up and under. Right to the basket in transition. Up to 12 points on the night. Three ball, no good for the Seawolves. And Wilson the rebound. Fair wants to run again. Lewis coast to coast. Free throw line, Jay Cash. Stony Brook begins the second half with possession of the basketball. And we'll get it started. Working towards that right hoop in this second half. And a quick two. And the Seawolves trying to give the Cuse a taste of their own medicine. There's that pull up. It's short. And Fair the rebound. There's that killer crossover, now the drive. Kick out strong, baseline, try, cut X. Good down low, we've already seen Lewis consistently hit that baseline jumper, and now Strong returns the favor. You'd be proud of, but all things considered, it is just game number one. Warren shovels it off for King to her right. Almond on the drive, it's good. When she watches back this film. 11 turnovers on the day now for the Cubes. Stony Brook coughs it right back. Rice the other way. Hyman, killer first step. Now to the rim, off the glass and in. The paint, she's a good looking player just in her sophomore year, the transfer from James Madison. Gonzalez on the drive, been a tough day for her all afternoon long, but how about that? Dariana Lewis and get the basketball back for Stony Brook. A big time play, especially now that it leads to points. Question, Gonzalez draws the double. Corner three, short. Woolley the long board for Syracuse. Orange out in transition. Thought about a pull up instead. Strong's baseline try, it's true. His range is expanding for Strong, which makes her ever so dangerous. You got an out defender out there. Hyman's got a wide open lane. Right to the cup she goes. History with nearly 500 wins. Still a top 20 all time scorer here at Syracuse. A really big addition to Coach Jack's coaching staff, and she is so happy to have her aboard. Number 17 on the all time list for the Q's was an underclassman when head coach Felicia Leggett Jack was an upperclassman. Ludwig said right from the jump, you could tell Felicia Leggett Jack was different. Her first day before anyone, sure, meet and greets, she said, Come on, we're going for a run. Determined and motivated right from the jump, just like Georgia Wolf. Ludwig and Jack's relationship goes really so far back. A cleanup on the offense. Leggett Jack got hurt her senior year, a year where she was really poised to be an All American, had received a couple of honorable mention nods but wanted to get that official All-American all recognition. Didn't happen as she suffered the injury. Back, despite not playing, she was already hurt before that. Received the game ball. That's the kind of leader she wants. The Asia Fair, quite possibly the leader of this Syracuse. A four-year player at Southern Mississippi brings a wealth of experience, as does Annie Warren. Give and go to Fair, spots up from the corner. Rattles around and does not drop. I'm in the other way. Long heave up ahead. Lay in is good. When Stony Brook scores, Day Day Almond has some sort of significance in that play. Another dime to get an easy layup. Terrell's first points of the night. Wilson on the other end. That's two. Rice takes it herself and fair up to retreat. The Asia fair, cool, calm, and collected. Her team up by 11. I'd be calm too if I can dribble the way she can. Looks like she wants to go ISO, but some swarming defense. Instead, Rice on the baseline. Now back out for Lewis. Good take, good finish. It's Rice, who came off the bench last year, sort of that go to option, the first player off the bench. But now she steps up in a starting role for Felicia Leggett Jack this season. Good take on that right side. She can be very patient on these possessions down the stretch in this ball game. Hyman, fadeaway, Jay No. Lewis, another offensive board, and Syracuse can reset. Woolley, spot up three, you betcha. Working it the other way. No real sense of urgency 
for the Qs here, and rightfully so. It's Strong down on that low block. Dumps it off Lewis, up with the right hand and in. Now they're back for more under a new coaching staff. Hyman, another steal. Wide open fair up ahead. She connects. Oh, and Syracuse just having its way with Stony Brook here in this fourth quarter. Asia Strong right back to work. There it is. Field the sophomore forward. Five on the shot clock, step back. Jay, it's good in the game's closing stages. That was money. How about the step back string? Syracuse can milk the clock if they so choose. Orange faithful on their feet. And game one of the Felicia.